This is the third tutorial on process costing. In the previous tutorial, we were looking at a normal loss, expected loss. In this tutorial, we are going to look at an abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Uh, because uh, usually in every month, um, it is possible that the loss that is going to be actually incurred would be different from what is expected. So we are going to have either an abnormal loss which is an excess loss, uh, more than what we expected, or abnormal gain, meaning we have uh, lost, we have actually lost uh, less than what was expected. And I'm going to explain these things uh, using examples. So let's check example three. During May, the following costs were incurred in a process. Materials, 9,000 and dollars led by 18,000 overheads 18,500 and a normal loss of 10 percent of input was expected actual output was 850 the losses were sold as scrap for nine dollars per kg and calculate the cost per kg and prepare process account and the loss account okay so first we do our costing statements uh, we have materials 1,000 kgs and valued at $9,000. Then we have labor cost at valued at 18,000. Overheads valued at uh, 13,500. Then the total 40,500 and the total uh, units kgs 1,000. Okay. Now we have our normal loss. Um, we're expecting it to lose 10%. So. Uh, instead of dividing 40,500 by 1,000, we first uh, deduct the normal loss. Okay, so normal loss is 10%. We have 100 units, 100 kgs, and these are valued at $9. So we are actually going to sell them at a scrap value, and the total value is 900. Okay, so when we subtract 900 from 40,500, we remain with 9,600. Then the units, we are going to remain with 900. 1,000 less 100 is 900. Then we can use um, the net cost to divide by the net units, the net kgs, to find the cost per kg. So the cost per kg is going to be equal to 9,600 divided by 900. And this gives us $44. Okay, now having found the cost per kg, we can value our output. What is the output? We are told the output is um, 850 kg. Now, this multiplied by the full cost. So, the output is valued at a full cost of $44 uh, per kg. This gives us 7,400. Okay, now. We are told that the output is 850, the actual output. We expected 900. So now we have 850. So we have lost more. There's an abnormal loss. There's an excess loss. We expected to produce 900 units. Now we have 850. That was the actual. So the abnormal loss uh, is 50 kg. The abnormal loss is always valued at full cost. So we are going to multiply it by $44, which is the cost per kg. And this will give us $2,200. Uh, okay, uh, that's great. Uh, the next, we do the process uh, account. So we have determined the output cost and uh, the cost of the, the abnormal loss value. So we can simply uh, now prepare the uh, process account, which is a T account. You debit the T account by the input. Uh, we have the materials, 1,000 unit cages, and they are valued at 9,000. Then we have labor at 18,000, overheads at 13,500. Okay, then on the right hand side, we are going to credit uh, with the normal loss, which is 100 kgs valued at nine dollars per kg and the total value is 900 then we have our output of 850 kgs uh, these are valued at 7000 
uh, 400. Okay. And then we can see that we also have an abnormal loss. So abnormal loss is treated just as a, a normal loss, which is credited to the process account. At, and we have 50 units. Uh, these are valued at $44 each. The total is 2,200. Then we can get the sum, the, the total of, the, of both sides. In terms of cost, we have 40,500 and 1,000 units uh, on our debit side. Then on the credit side, uh, the units, we have 1,000 kg, so it's, it's, it has balanced. And then on the cost, uh, we have 40,000. 500 okay now let's do uh the loss account so on the loss account uh we have to look at what is happening in the process account we are debiting the process account with the normal loss and the abnormal loss so we have to debit the uh no loss account with the losses so the double entry will be that you, you, you credit the process account with the normal loss, then debit uh, the loss account. So in the loss account, we debit the normal loss. So debiting is simply writing, uh, entering the transaction into the debit side of the T account. So the normal loss is valued at 900 and the abnormal loss were 50 kgs valued at 2002. Now, we are receiving uh, cash for the proceeds. We are receiving cash from the scrap, the normal loss. So the double entry for the cash received on the uh, units that were sold, uh, the, the, it will be you debit cash and you credit the loss account with uh, 150 units. Now, it's the total. We look at the, the, the units that were lost in total. It's 100 uh, plus 50. So we are selling them all at one um, at a value of $9. And the total value is $1,350. OK. Now, when you look at uh, these entries, they don't balance. On the left side, we have 150 units. And um, on the right side, Actually, they are, they, the units are balancing. What is not balancing is the, is the, the cost, the values. On the left, we have 3,100. And yet on the right, we have 1,350. So this difference, uh, the difference between 1,350 and 3,100 is 1,750. What could this be? Uh, this is actually the loss. It is the loss due to the excess uh, loss that we have incurred. And uh, it is entered to the process, to the profit and uh, loss account. I won't go into details uh, here uh, because that is not uh, really part of your syllabus, but uh, this is enough. I'll show you how that loss uh, is determined. Uh, let's check. We had abnormal loss valued at $2,200. Then from this abnormal loss, we reduce the scrap. We are, we are selling something. We are selling 50 units valued at $9. So this is going to reduce on the abnormal loss. And the net loss that we're having is the $1,750, which is actually uh, the one which is uh, which was the missing uh, value in the lost T account. Okay, uh, that's great. Let's also proceed and look at um, example four. During June, the following costs were incurred in a process. So the costs were materials, 18,000 labor, 36,000 overheads, 27,000. Then there was a normal loss of 10% on the import. And the actual output was 1,840. Then you have to calculate the cost per kg and the process and the T account. So uh, we begin with uh, our cost statements. We have materials, 2,000 kgs, uh, valued at $18,000. Then we have labor costs, 36,000, overheads, 27,000. Then the total, 
cost is 81,000, total cages is 2,000. Okay, now we have a normal loss. So before we find the cost per unit, you have to find the number of units that we're expecting and the net cost. So the normal loss is 10% of the input, which is 200 units, uh, valued, they are sold at $9 each. So the total is 1,800. So this 1,800 is reducing on the cost. We are recovering part of the cost that were incurred. So the net cost is going to be uh, 79,200. And the net units, we have 1,800. And we can use this to find the cost per kg, which is going to be equal to 79,200 divided by 1,800, and we have $44 uh, per kg. So now we can value our output. Uh, the actual output is not 1,800. We are told it is eight. Uh, it is actually 1,840. That is what we are given in the question. Uh, so the output, 1,840, valued at full cost of $44. This will give us 80,960. Okay, now we can see that we produced the actual output was more than what was expected. We expected 1,800 and we actually produced 1,840. So there is an abnormal gain of 40 units. We have more units than we expected. So we abnormal gain, just like abnormal loss, is valued at full cost per unit. So the value of the abnormal loss, uh, in this case, is the abnormal gain. Uh, abnormal gain, which is valued at uh, full cost. So always remember abnormal gain, abnormal loss uh, are valued at full cost. Okay, and the total is 1,760. Okay, now let's do the process costing uh, account where we debit the input. Uh, we have materials, 2,000 kgs, valued at 18,000. Then we have labor, 86,000, overhead, uh, 27,000. And then the normal loss, we have 200 kgs, valued at $9 per kg. So the total value will be 1,800. Then we have output, uh, it's 1,840 valued at $44 per unit, which is uh, gives 80,960. Okay, now when you check, there is, uh, there is, no, there is an imbalance. There's, the, 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 both the two sides are not balancing. So the, the missing balance, it's actually the abnormal gain. So abnormal gain will be on the uh, debit side. We have 40 units valued at full cost, $44 per unit, and the total is 1,760. Now we can get the totals. Uh, the total cost on the left-hand side, it's 82,760, and the units, 2,040 kgs. Then on the right, the units 2040 and the cost 82,760. Then the loss account, we have to debit and the loss account with the normal loss and we credit it with the abnormal loss, abnormal gain. Okay, so we debit the normal loss, 200 unit cages valued at 1,800 and then we credit uh, 40 units abnormal gain valued at full cost which is 1760 then uh, we have the cash proceeds so we are receiving cash from the sale of the uh, normal loss units and then that cash that we receive we are debiting cash account asset or whatever account is receiving the cash then we credit the loss account. So we are receiving one thousand. We are uh, selling one hundred and sixty units, valued at nine dollars each. 
So it is 160 units because the normal loss was 200, the expected loss was 200, but we gained 40. So we have the 200 are, are reduced by 40 to have 160. And the total uh, 9 by 160, 1,440. Now, when we look at uh, the units are balancing 200 on both sides, then the costs were 32 on the left hand side and on the right hand on the right hand side we are 3200 on the left hand side we only have 1800 so there is an imbalance they are not balancing and the missing balance is 1400 the missing figure this balance is the profit and it is posted to the profit uh, and loss account or profit and loss statement. Now that is not uh, our worry here and I won't go into details, but let me just show you how the 1,400 profit, uh, how, how, how it can be derived at uh, in using other methods or you know, another uh, approach. We have um, our abnormal gain, which is valued at 1,760. So from this abnormal gain, uh, we can reduce the scrap, the value uh, at the amount that we are receiving from the sale. So this is 40 units value that um, if we were to sell them, uh, it's 360 in total. And this gives us 1,400 as uh, the profit on the uh, process. Okay, well, We've come to the end of this recording, and this brings us to the end of process uh, costing with abnormal loss and uh, abnormal gain. In the next recording, we are going to look at process costing with work in progress. Then in the other one, we'll look at process costing and uh, uh, joint products, where they are, there's a byproduct in the process of producing uh, one product. I hope you have enjoyed and if you have questions please uh, do contact me and I'll be very glad to help. Goodbye for now.